Hello and welcome to this series on Mudbox 2011 brought to you by the Software Video Company. My name is Lance Womack. I'm going to be your instructor throughout this training series. There's a lot to cover so let's go ahead and get started. First of all we're going to cover our interface here and then we'll jump into more complex stuff when a little later. So if you notice we have our typical menu bars at the top here we have some views and if you're familiar with Maya you'll notice that the interface is a little similar to that um, we have some tabs over here for our viewport filters object lists and layers window we have our properties window so if we click through these it also gives us some different tabs go ahead and show you we have our different cameras gives us different properties here we can also go through our different viewports we have our 3d view as typical with your 3d packages we have our UV view image browser and mudbox community which is basically the website to give you a little feedback we have all our different menu tabs for creating and editing our sculptures we also have our tray here at the bottom with various different tabs here. We have the sculpt tools, paint tools, pose tools, and select move tools. In addition to that, we also have our tabs over here in the corner. These are all of our different stencils, stamps, fall, fall off, and different editing materials and so on so we can really get in and start sculpting. If you notice we can drag some of this stuff around. If you hold the middle mouse you can drag these things around in the tray here and you can do a little bit of editing with that as well. So that's our little overview of Mudbox 2011 so we'll go ahead and get into the more detailed stuff and here it is in a few minutes.